Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the ReactJS Cognito. Today we are going to learn about the sign out process in ReactJS with Cognito. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that we have a sign out button, right? So we have already logged in. My details are here, right? So let's try check the function of the logout. So this is the sign out function on click sign out function. So here we go with the sign out. So user pool dot get current user dot sign out. This is the function user pool dot get user dot sign out. And after that, I just reload this window to log out the session, right? So let's have a look on that one. Okay. So here we have to just go and just do the sign out and you can see that. I'm, I'm unable to log in right now and the process is sign out. I check the local storage if it is there something. Let me clean all this. Okay. And try to log in again and check that there is only local storage is there or not. Very sign in. Test 12 at the rate mailinator.com. Right. And admin sign in. So here you can see that we have the details. Local storage it is there. You can see that session we have the details, right? Session we have all the details. So here the Cognito knows that whether the current session is there or not. After that, it will remove that one. If I go to the sign out and local storage, you can see that my all session data is removed. So this is the process that Cognito follows that is, uh, it stores the data into your local storage. And if it is expired, then you have to sign out of that one. So this is how we are able to sign out in our Cognito ReactJS. Any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.